Hey y'all, welcome back to Spirit of the Outdoors. Today we've got some traps, 330 bears that we want to put some new springs on. I had showed y'all the other day that I bought a new set of springs. Uh, I bought four springs. Uh, these are two traps that were given to me by somebody and they were broke. Uh, in fact, they gave me about four or five traps. They didn't just give me two broke traps. They give me, uh, I think, about three more good 330s, but these were broke. He said, do you want them? I was like, yeah, I think I can fix them. So that's what we're going to attempt to do. Um, I know that I had heard of some people trying to heat these things up and bend them. So uh, I'm going to show you the, the, the way that I'm going to go about doing this. We're going to start off getting these off. All that went with that one. All of this goes with this one. Whoa. I don't know how they broke these because they was already bad wheat. Gotta go past it a little bit. Ah. Now, here comes the tricky, tricky part. Get that out of the way. Let's leave that right there for now. this let's go below the trap like I said earlier it'd be nice if I had something over here to hook this string to, but I don't. See how that flopped over that. You just wrap this right here a few times and it should hold that if you want to do like me and tie it right here for extra security is probably a good idea. Because at this point, all we're going to do See 
I like to not have caught that. I like to not even notice that. I got my finger. Ben, my camera cut off during the last one I was filming there and I ain't went back and looked to see what all happened. I'm going to stop it. Start over to do the other one so I make sure I got good footage of how I'm going about this. I don't know what happened to the camera. I took my card out, edited some videos today. Drop that handle down that head part right there that round part I got my finger but anyway when I mmm it's gonna be a blood spot there This tarred bank line, it bites and holds. Hard to pull out. But anyway, when I put my card back in my camera, it didn't recognize it. So I don't know if I got some some kind of funny business going on with it or what. Starts acting up. I may have to just quit YouTube. Can't buy another card. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'll get you another card. I don't know what happened, but then the camera just quit filming a while ago. All right. One side done. Let's see if we can get these things loose from this side. I'm sure I can find something to make out of those old broke springs. Y'all all monkey with these. Look how I sprung them out. I'd rather have the root just to bite it anyway. Let's see which way I got my safety on that one. We want it dangling down. I don't even know if them traps have been used much. I don't know how they destroyed them. I'm not going to speculate on that because I may figure it out one day. I've never broke one, but. What I was doing right here, y'all, was just tying me a loop, but I think what I'll do is just tie a bowline right here on this. It ought to hold just as good. Now, I don't tie that old military bowline at Canterbury and all them boys' teeth. I, I like my tag to stick out to the side. I don't know why they want it in line. They think they need another hitch in there, and I, for safety, I, you got your bowline tied, you don't need no safety knot on it, I don't think. Anyway, I know y'all love some Dave Canterbury, so I'm not going to talk bad about him. Some of y'all might quit on me 
quit my channel if I get the dog and old Dave Canterbury. Alright, see this? You get it right there. I'm gonna go through right here again. Run right here. We're gonna pull through there again. Then I'm gonna come over here and we're gonna wrap, wrap. I don't wanna get down in my way. You wanna keep it where you clamp that back in your vise. I'm just gonna half hitch that this time. It took me a minute to figure out the easiest way to do this. Cause I'm gonna be honest with you, snaking all that through there can be somewhat of a conundrum if you don't hadn't done it before. Cause that first one that I fooled with. I fooled with it there a mite before I got it to do just like I wanted. And I'll be honest with you, I have about done got frustrated with one of them. But anyway, once you get it figured out, there ain't a whole lot to it. But it, it can be dangerous if you're not, because them springs is tough. And I'm going to show you, you see how I done that? Oh. I'm going to show y'all something about this trap while we put these 330s that I probably won't have time to do when we're out on the trap line. So I'm going to set this up out here in the uh, yard and show y'all. Now here, see how my bowline, I don't know if y'all can see that or not, but anyway, my tag sticks out to the side on my bowline. Canterbury and them loop it different. They come around this and go back through the loop the other way and then tie them a knot up here. But you got a lot of fiddling. The whole point of a bow line is on a ship or a boat, whatever. It's a bow line, I think, actually, is what it's supposed to be. When you get ready to undo it, you just grab that knot. See how easy you can... This tarred bank line now is a little, a little more of a doozy, but... It's about being able to readily get that loose. But what I was going to say is take this and tie this in a knot and keep a roll of this tarred number 72 line in your pocket if you're running these traps. I'm fixing to show you why. All right. I'm going to get out here in the yard with y'all. I want to show y'all in case you get in a bind why, and why you need to have a loop on this. Alright, let's say for whatever reason we we down there in the swamp and we man we trapping and we we got our trap set down there. Slip off the bank, whatever, you know, oh and my hand goes in the trap. Let me back up. Y'all can't see what I'm doing here. Anyway, like I just got myself with that part of it anyway. And it's going to wad all up on you if you ain't careful. But let's just say your hands get stuck off in that. You're like, oh, man. Well, if you got your setters laying right there, you you can't hardly operate them one-handed. Um, and I like my setters. And I don't, I'm don't. i not the guy that thinks, oh, I can set everything by hand. I, I can set this by hand, but why? Um, so what I'm going to do is... Pull me plenty slack right through there. Pull that through there. Now you don't want a whole bunch coming out here this time. I may need a hair more than that. Cause see, I just made me a loop. Now look at him, what I do. You get that loop right there. 
around that right there. Foot. And we're going to hold on to this to simulate our hand being in it. Hopefully it ain't in it no further than that, but y'all get the idea. Uh-oh. Y'all see what happened? I'm going to have to close that up some more. Did you see that come through there? Mm, maintenance on traps. Maintenance on traps. Whoever put them springs on there didn't know what they was doing. But anyway, principle still going to remain the same. We just going to have to push, push on it at a little... A little different angle. Alright, I want this up. Best I can get it. And three times through there is plenty. Oh, and with this tarred line, that bites more. But the, the more fulcrum you got, the more times you go through there, the more you can uh, pull that. So... See that tarred bank line's holding for me? That's why you use the tarred. Look at that slack in there. Still holding. Alright, we got one of them on there. You can leave that wrapped around your foot there. Safety's got it now. Pull it all the way out. Remember, we still got a hand hung in this thing. At this point, you may could, you may could open it up enough. I don't know. I don't think so. But you know, if your hand stop, now you gotta you gotta flop it over the other way now. Now I do know that once you go on this side, it's a lot easier. You don't have to close it all the way and hook the safety to get yourself out of it now. And no, I have never been in one, but I know some folks that have. So right here, we're going to, we're not going to go. Well, yeah, it just makes it easier to pull. Now, a heavier rope is better. To set with, by all means, I am not saying tarred bank lines are things to set with. It's just easier to tote in your pocket. Now, if you are mind to now see how that'll open up. If that, at that point right there, you can get your hand out of it. See, it's opened up enough. You, but see, you can come on down with it if you need to. I'm going to go ahead and set the boogers. All right. But anyway, I just want to show you how to do that. We're going to go over here and make a conclusion and get me up off the ground. All right, I did point out out there that one of them, I wanted that spring a little bit more. This one right here, hurl. This one, this one right hurl. Our him. All right, that's good. This one here, it's a little bit off too. Ah. 
Yeah. And I did want to tell y'all, them springs right there, I gave $5 a piece for them springs. I went back and looked. So that's another good 330 combat ready to go. One of these I wasn't real happy with the way it lined up. This one. I hear my father over there uh, sending lead down rain. Anyway, I'm going to get that nowhere straightened out. I can flop it around the rest of the evening. Y'all sit here and watch me. I don't know what this dog's come tearing up to here. Y'all know what about tearing up to here? That's running real fast. Somebody pulling up. Well, anyway, thank y'all for watching my video. Quick tip on 330 Connor Bears and repairing them. We'll see y'all next time on Spirit of the Outdoors.